three, two, one, go. And they're off of this autonomous portion of this qualification match, number 10. During this period, drivers have pre-programmed controls into their droids. And now drivers take control of the droids during the tele, 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 tele up period. Red Alliance is in the lead, 22-16. Blue Alliance, 93, trying to add to that top power port. Just missed, slightly out of range. Can they do it again? Over on the Red Alliance, 56 and 53, just popping one after another into that top port. Iron Mosquito is getting a little bit of defense over on that end by the Blue Alliance, 63-18. New Apple Port lining up again and trying to make that top power port. Just can't seem to figure out that aim. Wing nuts over at the loading zone trying to get some new power cells. Meanwhile, their teammate 5653 is about to add some more of their own power ports. One after another, add to that top power port. They go into stage, they, both teams have now activated stage one and are working on activating stage two. Red Alliance is currently in the lead, 37-24. New Epicor is added to that top power port. Means the asteroid is incoming. Drizzle now get to the rendezvous. Trying to engage that shield generator, protect first city. We have two droids on both alliances attempting to make a hang. Successful for the blue alliance. Can they keep it level? Red alliance tried to same. Close to being level, not quite. Will they swing to being level? That is the end of the match. Let's see what those final results are. Were they level? Red Alliance comes out of that with three ranking points. Two for the victory and one for the successful end game. Blue Alliance also earns itself a ranking point for a successful end game. Hey.